Hello and welcome to a brand new video. This time I'll be showing you the process of my most recent work, my entry into Mr. 23's AI challenge. If you're not familiar with him, make sure to check him out. He's a fantastic artist and he helped me a lot with his techniques when I first started using Photoshop. If you want to see more of his work, I'll provide his social media accounts in the description. The rules for this challenge are simple. We are not allowed to move or resize the omonent wings. The aspect ratio and size must remain the same as he provided and in the rest we are free to do whatever we want. My goal with this image was to make a representation of the transition between childhood and adulthood. I decided to make the girl and the wings as believable as possible, getting rid of the mystic appearance you get when you first see them. The girl who had just finished her fairy performance made her first steps into the adult world. The wings in the image represent a person who has evolved has the ability to fly and the strength to create her own story. A big thank you to Mr. 23 for this opportunity and without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop. It's not my first time doing a lava theme photo manipulation and I find it difficult. I gotta say that the searching process is a bit challenging. This time I found better photos that help me in deciding what to design and how to display it. As you can see, the process is the same. I just mask out everything that I don't need and then adjust the exposure. Because it is already a dark scene, I didn't have to struggle with shadows. If needed, I switched between an exposure adjustment layer and a levels adjustment layer. For the background, I use different mountain images which I mask out and apply to them an exposure layer for the overall darkness and a color balance adjustment layer to match the tone of the composition. For me, the most interesting part in this photo manipulation is the sky. I had to find the right cloud images in order to enhance the asteroids that I will create at the end. 